right at one of my favorite places for the boat launch. This is Eldridge. And I like it because I'm a cheap redneck dude. And this place is nice and cheap. I don't need a fancy dancy couple million dollar marina to launch my boat. Ron Cosway with the toll bridge going over. That's a beautiful island. Like it, Jasper? Oh, you're going to have fun out here, Jasper. Yes, sir. Alright. That's about one of the worst freaking days I've had in a while. Just put all this money out to come down here and enjoy the stingray. Put it in the water. Down here, just beautiful. Eldridge Marina. Looking out at the Boca Grande Causeway. And this is some beautiful area, I'm telling you. I love it out here. But unfortunately, the carburetor has come back to bite me once again. I put a kid in it a couple months back or sometime in the summer. And uh, I even took it out like a week ago maybe at two weeks at the max probably a week or so and the thing was running beautiful so anyway I guess that just goes to show it can happen at any time as long as I can uh, continue the rest of the trip alright then I'll be happy and make it back home and all that safe and heck with it I guess I'll be ordering a new car right this time all right, so me and Jasper's outside the RV here. This is uh, Wednesday morning, the next morning, and uh, I just can't leave, can't leave it alone like that. So last night I went ahead and ordered a float for it from AutoZone or whatever. That way it was in this morning and installed it. I'm just bolting up the last, or putting everything back on and gonna hook all my little linkages and stuff up for the choke and blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna, meter and rods i still got to drop in the back here and put my arm back on and stuff for the accelerator pump but <clears throat> then i'm going to uh pull it on over near the dump site over here they got a uh, hose pipe and i'm going to put the muffs on it and fire it up and see how she's doing i might be able to head back over to inglewood there me and jasp right jasp hell yeah he wants to go on the boat that's for sure he's been really uh missing it me too. Let's see what happens. Keep my fingers crossed. The float is the only thing that wasn't in the kit, and it didn't look bad, so I didn't replace it. But uh, something's making it hang, so we'll see what she does now. So, got the uh, car ball back together and brought it over here and uh, hooked it up. Got some water running into the back on some muffs. She seems to be running pretty good right now. Definitely no flooding. Yeah, no flooding in there. Come on. Please run good for me, girl. so far now the thing is when it sits is it gonna restart and all that good stuff and how hard is it yeah it doesn't like starting without some throttle and it does start back up but you just gotta open the throttle up let some air in I'm not sure what's going on there but I guess uh Give it a couple more tries. If it does good, you'll see us continue on in Inglewood area. Alright, we're going to give this a try again. Hopefully better luck today.
so yet another failed attempt back the boat down into the water and uh Jasper shit I started it on the earmuffs and it was running great before I left and then uh huh, wound up well it was doing really nice I don't know what to say I'm I'm dumbfounded put the uh, the float in the carb still not working I'm here again at Eldridge wasted another hour and a half from where I'm staying to come out here so this trip might just be a bust after all at least on the boating part I mean I am here in my, one of my favorite places I just ain't out on the water so best of it on the rest of the trip and who knows I might just go buy a little cheap regulator or some pressure regulator over there at AutoZone or somewhere and put it in line tonight and maybe try one of the local lakes over there near the RV tomorrow and see if that fixes it. And then I can still pull off some decent videos and some decent memories while I'm here. I definitely want to go back and hit some of my spots. Well, so I uh, put a little gauge in line and might be the problem after A little too much pull pressure. It's still, I do not understand why in the hell it just fired right up for me with the mumps. Sitting here on land, I can run it. It's not stalling out. As soon as I put it in the water, and it freaking almost dies instantly. I mean, it just starts flooding so bad. So what I figured out was once I put the gauge in line and I would crimp off the hose a little to kind of regulate it, I would drop from nine and I would come all the way down into four and a half range and that's when the motor would just start cleaning up and idling really good. And as soon as I would let off the line, it would jump back up in the nine range, of course jumping, but I could tell it was around nine average. And uh, when I cut, and, and then it would start idling really bad again, like it was loading up. So then I would go over and cut the key off. When I came back, of course the needle had settled right on nine. And little by little, it was dropping off real slow and I could hear the fuel dripping in, you know, and see the smoke or whatever, fog coming out. So I know it was sitting there flooding. So now I put a regulator in line we're going to pull it back over there and try it, and if that fixes it, then we'll be going over to the lake and try it, a close nearby lake, instead of going all the way back over to the coast. See how she does, and then I'll get that prettied up later or whatever, or figure out whatever I'm going to do if I need to replace the pump, even though that is a new Carter unit. It's just putting out too much. I thought 7 was the max, and it's pumping out over 9, so... I don't know that I want to leave the regulator in line or not, or just get the right pump again, you know, a new pump that's <clears throat> not acting up like that one is, even though that was a marine unit, you know, for the, the Merc Cruiser 350. Let's see what she does. Now that's a shame. Talk about poor craftsman workmanship. So the friggin' new uh, regulator I got here was working okay as far as the pressure got it down good and had it where it was running pretty good it seemed like but steady leaking and dripping fuel and what it is these damn fittings to screw in um they're not a tapered fit they just screw in smooth the whole way until boom this hex head hits you can see it's not machined good enough to let it go past it what ridiculous shit man it won't tighten anymore because it's hitting the body and so then of course it was just leaking fuel even though I've got you know like piped open on it or whatever so I'm about to take these out because they're tapered I'm going to see if they'll screw in and stop before they, uh, the, the hex hits the body and I'll just do away with the gauge altogether. I don't really need it I seen that <clears throat> setting this on three was about four and a half or five on the gauge there so at least I know just keep it around that three mark okay so a holes at mr. gasket 
Do not put this style. Put this style. See how that screws in nice? Nice and tight without bottoming out up against the body. Because it's a tapered fit. Jeez. Oh, uh, well, what do you know? With my, with the old fittings I got from Desmond, thank you, Desmond, they, uh, no leak. No more leaking. And I'm just going to run this for right now. It ain't the prettiest, but I don't have any tubing cutter. I don't want to really cut the uh, metal line that goes down to the pump while I'm out on vacation like this. The main thing is, there's no leaks. I can tell a big difference in the way it's running now. It's a lot smoother. I might even be able to turn the idle down a hair. Now the big thing was when I would cut it off like this and then coming back over and hitting the key, I would have to give a throttle. This is no throttle, just key. A lot better. A lot better. I just hope it doesn't when we're out on the water. So now me and Jasp came over to uh, somewhere in Bartow, I believe it's called. I hate to get the name wrong. I can't, I had to uh, tr look up the name of the lake again. But anyway, there's a little dam right there. And from what I could tell on the map, it looks like a little river canal type thing up through there so far. And then it opens up into a lake. And the other fellow there says it's a pretty good sized lake to run around on so at least it'll give me a chance to test it out see if we can see any gators while we're out there like a mini all right we're down here it's lake hancock and uh me and jasper about to because good news it seems to be running good so far taking it off the trailer and all so i have never been to this lake and uh doesn't look like something I would normally put my boat in. But I do want to try it out before I get over there and taking it all the way to the coast again and just to find out there's a problem. But I'm really hoping and praying here. Come on. Let's see, baby. Come on. Oh yeah. If she'll stay like that, I'll be happy. Come on, boy. Let's go for a ride. Well, so far, so good. Ride pretty good. Just going along. Definitely. Sounds good and smooth. like to let a carburetor sit there and run for a minute when you come off a high run like that let everything slow down and then cut it off but we'll uh let her sit for a minute or i don't know <laughs> i just want to see how it starts off of that run what you think jasp i got a feeling uh we're just gonna hit the key with no throttle and she's gonna fire because i think she's fixed that is so much better. Oh my goodness. So much better. There's no way it would have started before. I would have had to put the throttle in neutral and pushed it forward a little, you know, to get the throttle plate to crack open a little or something, I guess, to adjust a little air. I don't know. It didn't even seem like it was far enough to make it open, but I'll be doggone. It would always uh, make a difference and make it start. Well, not every time. Sometimes it would flood out so bad that, yeah, you wouldn't. It was very hard to start. You was very lucky to start, and then it wouldn't run anyway. So, let's see.
I still can't believe that fixed it. I put a regulator on it, pressure regulator for the fuel, and now it's, it's running great. So uh, Jasper's just chilling over here. And we, we was enjoying the evening out here on the lake, but uh, the sun's getting ready to go down. I see some over here scooting along. I don't know if you can see them, especially with the sun. But uh, I'm gonna jump over there and follow them in because there's like one spot over there, which I do have my GPS, but uh, I'm just gonna head that direction. I really don't know where I'm at. It's showing it's only uh, <laughs> under four foot, so. Let's see how she starts. Been sitting a while. Oh, 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 oh. Now that's nice. I, I like it. That's how she should be running. Very nice. Very. 